Hey, we're at Sakuba Circuit, the full circuit this time. Uh, in the past, in the Formula Vs, which is where we're uh, racing today. We've uh, only done the abbreviated circuit, so this is pretty cool. I'm going to do the full thing. Uh, Sakuba is one of my favorite road courses. And I actually mean it this time, even though I say every road course is my favorite. <laughs> I really do say that every time. But uh, this one I really like. It's where I got my uh, first ever road win in a Mazda. So that's pretty cool. It's got that sentimental value going for it. And um, it's actually my second attempt at this particular combo this week. Uh, first time, I uh, ended up in a wreck early. It was... Uh, well, I self-spun early on in the race, and then um, later on, it was like a tiny self-spin I kind of recovered real quick from, and then uh, there were just wrecks all over the place. I got hit another time, and uh, it was bad enough to where, even though I was in those accidents, I still got fourth, but uh, after the really bad start, I went ahead and stopped recording, so I didn't even get the rest of it, but uh, it wasn't a very good race anyway. So, uh... I figured I'd see if I could give this another go and maybe uh, have a cleaner time of it this time. And uh, it's a lot of fun, so why not? Let's see if we can get a good qualifying done here. Uh, it's pretty late at night, but uh, we got people from uh, around the world filling in the spots, thankfully. <laughs> so um, that's always nice in road racing. Don't have to worry too too much about it being late at night. So you got plenty of people to fill in the spots for you. Uh, that was a little bit of an awkward way to take that turn, but I guess it worked. Halfway decent. <laughs> so, um, and the number two car, I didn't even look at that until now. So uh, should be uh, competing, hopefully, for a good finish. We'll see how. Uh, well, how number one the number one car is, if you know what I mean. <laughs> like, if they're like number one, or if they're like, yeah, number one, the one that's right next to number two. <laughs> Sometimes you get the number one, as in like, they're going to win by 20 seconds, kind of number one. <laughs> so we'll see if we have a chance. Um, I hope so. Love to get a nice road win. I don't have too many of those. But uh, I've gotten one here before, so why not, right? Uh, feeling pretty good. Of course, I felt uh, pretty good before that first race here, and then I found a way to self-spin in this turn. So, I don't know, I must have just gotten, felt the pressure behind me or something that had uh, messed it up during that race. I don't know. They were racing all crazy, so... I guess I uh, just gotta focus on what I'm doing a little bit more. And uh, maybe I'll survive a bit better. Let's see where this lap takes us. I don't think this is as good as the first lap. 105.4 to 105.7. Okay, yeah, so 105.4 was the better lap. Where does that put us? All right, two tenths up, but uh, I don't see a number one on that list, so either they're not qualifying or they're about to show up in a big way, probably. <laughs> we'll see. I don't recognize any of the names. Um, I don't think I do road racing enough to even start recognizing names. Um, I might recognize a couple of the memorable ones, but uh, nah. <laughs> I don't think I run consistently enough to uh, get an idea of who's who. So, uh, Got a couple of the higher rank guys up there. Two, three, four, and five all within the first four spots. That makes sense. Number 10 uh, out there, putting in a good qualifying lap. That's cool. Hopefully we won't get sent right into turn one, no matter where we start, whether it's uh, P1 or two or three, wherever uh, we end up f uh, starting here could also be that the one car is so confident in their abilities that they're going to start in the back because they know that they're going to pass everyone and win. I've also seen that before. So maybe we will have to look out for the bullet coming through later in the race. Nope, there he is. <laughs> There's the number one. I told you. They were going to show up. 
We're not too far off though. Just a couple thousands. All right, we might be able to keep up with that, especially if we uh, can keep it in uh, keep in their draft. We'll see. So we shouldn't be waiting too much longer. Unless we only got about two and a half minutes. But, uh, I think a lot of people have qualified. Maybe everybody will get a qualifying lap in. We'll see. I'll just do some more laps for now. Ooh, people will be warming, warming up their tires like that. I'm just having fun now. I'm waiting for this thing to start. Seems like we've got a, an excess amount of time. These laps only take about a minute. So, got plenty of time to do our laps. Of course, I uh, got mine in right. To when the gates opened. We'll see if uh, maybe the one improves their lap. I imagine that was probably their first lap. So maybe they can uh, put in an even better one. But uh, so far it doesn't look like it. I think they might have been able to they might have put in their lap by now. But, uh, Pretty decent drop off, it looks like. Um, from third, fourth, fifth down. Got two tenths separating behind us. The three tenths behind them. It's a very close race between fourth and fifth. And sixth, for that matter. I just looked at that. And then it kind of just starts building. But, uh, you know, anyone could have just a, you know, they might not have such a good qualifying run so it could be easily be faster the race I know that uh, plenty of times I'll just mess up both laps or something and end up doing a little better in the race hey there we go is that two and a half minutes or hey maybe everyone got a lap in nice all right so let's try not to loop it on lap one I'd like to think I could avoid that but we'll see and uh Maybe avoid uh, getting taken out too. Look at that. One, two, three, the top three. And four and five were pretty interchangeable because they have almost identical times. That's pretty cool. Turn all this off in case I have to take my uh, fast repair again in one of these races. It was a couple days ago, I think, whenever I uh, first attempted this. little tricky to get started in this thing because they're so lightweight I think uh, makes it spin the tires real easy see how good a start I can get and uh, we're on the preferred side I guess technically going into this first turn so that's kinda nice still no, no uh, number one looks like just about the rest of the fields here Fashion really late <laughs> to the grid. Cool guy. I don't know. I'm, I'm I'm attributing factors to a person. I don't know. Fahrenheit. The track temp is 81 Fahrenheit. Heads up, we're going green. Green, 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 green. Hmm. Seemed okay. Pushed up a little bit, but I think I gave him enough room. Hope, uh, hope I didn't make him uncomfortable. Oh, we seem all right. Don't over, don't overdrive. I said as this guy kind of goes off. I'm not gonna make a stupid attempt right here. They uh, got it back on track. Now here's the part where I spun out last time. Let's not do it again this time. Okay. There you go. See how easy that was? I don't know how I managed to uh, do it last time. He's being squirrely. I'm not going to worry too much about it, about breaking the draft. I'd just like to uh, break away from this pack behind us a little bit first. Alright. Hmm. 
Keeping up just fine. I think that has a lot to do with the draft, though. But they did uh, make a mistake that first lap, driving off a little bit. That was interesting to see. You can probably full throttle it there if you get the angle just right, but uh, I just like to do just a little bit lift because it doesn't really lose you anything and you're kind of guaranteed to make the corner then. He gets through there better than me I think. Uh, I don't get through that corner very well, admittedly. It's probably my worst corner. Uh, I'm not going to worry about all that nonsense. He can swerve all he wants. Alright. He's in touch a bit, but he is uh, a better driver, so I'm not going to worry too much about that. Breaks a little too hard there. Still just a little bit nervous because I know the tires not might might not be uh, completely warm yet, so don't wanna make any mistakes. That'll hurt me in the end. I think if I just uh, keep close enough to be in his draft, we might uh, still be able to keep in it. through there a little bit better that time. It's probably going to snake a little bit. I do want that draft. If I can get a little bit of it because he is sneaking away a little bit. I want to keep, keep myself in it if possible but he uh, does seem to be better. Yeah. I'm going to try but we'll see. Uh oh, angry Australians. What does that sound like anyway? Sorry if that was incorrect. The mate makes me uh, suspect some things, as well as the uh, <laughs> time of day. Friendly reminder to use your brakes. We uh, snuck up to him a little bit. Hey, we make some time in turn one. Pressure him a little bit. It's on the uh, curb just a tiny bit. Maybe that's my uh, my scary Formula V <laughs> behind him with the Chewy.com pets on it. I'm sure it's terrifying. All right, we're uh, we're still in it. He's kind of goofing, I think. He's just having a fun time. Me too. I'm having a fun time. I like the V's. A good lap. Of course, we had draft the whole way. Doesn't discount it. Still getting on those curbs. I want him to know I'm here. He's not just getting away with it. You better be careful getting on those curbs though. If you uh, hit the throttle the wrong way when you're over there, get it spun. Okay, 
feeling better in that corner. Stay close, there might be a chance here. Not too worried about that. Why is the spotter like, why does he have that accent too? I never really asked that question, but my spotter's kind of Australian also. And I mean, that's fine and all of course, but this game was not made in Australia. So I wonder why they decided that. <laughs> just uh, just thoughts to distract me from actually driving, which I should be doing. How much time we got? Still about five minutes. Yeah, it's still pretty early. Just curious. Ooh, he brakes pretty hard. Five minutes to go. I like he braked uh, a little bit too hard there. I was curious. Definitely don't want to get in the back of him. That would be embarrassing. I wonder if I should shift when I'm in the draft right there. I never really do. But, uh, a little extra speed makes me wonder if fourth is a good idea. I'll think about it. And I'm honest. Spaced it out a little there. That was at I might have to try to make a pass into turn one if we ever do have to go for it, because uh, we seem to be that seems to be the spot where we're a little better. Unless he wants to spin it in that corner, because I think he's yeah. he's risking. He's making some risks. Some riskuses. Is fourth a good idea? Ooh. Yeah, he braked a little earlier than we did there. The <laughs> spotter is saying, like, hey, are you taking a defensive line? Alright, that's cool. Ooh, it's me, man. He's got the preferred line, so I don't know why uh, even bother. So. It's a fun time. Make him think. Trying to find the right time to where I'm gonna try to pass him if we ever do. I didn't get through there very well, but uh, wasn't really in a position to really go for anything crazy. Do like third to make it around this corner. I think it keeps your momentum up while you're making the turn. You've got one gallon left. That's two minutes left. Two minutes. Two minutes left, so I think next time by might be the white flag. I don't know, I just uh, I'm not seeing any openings to pass them. There's uh, certain areas we can outbreak them a little bit, but nothing too noteworthy. Just, uh, I don't know. Yeah, we're just pretty equal. Number three's not that far behind either. Like, uh, if we both make a mistake or something. We uh, got the nose, but we uh, hit the curb and pushed up a bit. We're going for it. I mean, I want to try to make the pass, but I uh, just don't want to wreck him either. Not 
Sure. Uh, we sent it, but he closed it off. Didn't want to wreck him, so I uh, hit the brakes. <laughs> I'll snake it, but he's got it. There's no way I'm catching up at this point. <laughs> Good race one. Couldn't find a way past you. <laughs> yeah, just couldn't find a way to overtake. Tried to stick my nose in there a couple times, but he kind of closed the door, and I wasn't going to wreck him for it, so. Fun, uh, fun to try, though, and a solid second place. So that's pretty cool. All right. Pretty uh, straightforward. We'll see uh, what happened out there, but I don't think too much happened. We had some guys yelling <laughs> early on. We'll see what that was about. What we got? Oh, I think this guy was starting near the end of the grid. He was blinking. Early on, everyone's packed up, and uh, that causes some problems. <laughs> it looks like the uh, nine car was lifting or something. Just curious. Yeah, lift lifting really early into that corner or something, and uh, the guy behind him did not lift. And uh, that's what happened. Unfortunately, it looks like there's some pieces breaking off. They got some broken V's. It's mostly from this guy, though. Ooh, almost got a dive in, uh, take out. And then he uh, hits that curb. That's why, it's a, that's why that's dangerous. That's why uh, that guy must have been real careful to make sure that uh, he didn't spin out on the curb, because that's what can happen. He knew what he was doing, obviously. You uh, can't full throttle it, but you can probably get some turn. If you go in there, that's uh, that's curious. What happened here? Hmm. So it looked like the red car just didn't really turn in. He's like uh, he's like in the middle of the track, and you would think he would kind of like turn in this way, but he just kind of didn't turn at all. And then the uh, this guy, well, he was expecting him to turn in, so that's weird. This guy was the guy that was mad, but I'm not quite sure what line he's taking. Like, is he going to do some weird, like, I have no idea. That was odd. I guess the guy's got to look out and not run into him, but it was a very strange line. And an un uh, uh, <laughs> Sorry, coughing up a hairball or something. Uh, it was a very unexpected line for the, the guy in the red Formula V to take. So, Oh, and then that's some bad luck. I guess I'm... Got someone spinning right in front of them. And then they get tangled up. They're having some troubles in the back there. Is that it? Is that the rest of the race? Alright, yeah. I guess everyone got spread out and then uh, the rest of the race was clean. So, uh, the one, two, three cars finished one, two, three. And uh, that's, that's where we started, too. So, uh, pretty uh, straightforward race. Gets mixed up a little bit as so you go further down. But uh, we, as the two car, got the second spot after qualifying second. We uh, had a good run at first first place but uh just couldn't find a way past them and uh that's fine not gonna wreck someone for it and uh we didn't and got ourselves a zero x and uh and uh, had a nice polite race so that's cool all right uh that'll be it for this one then see ya